One thing I wanted to show you that not everyone knows you can do or knows how to do is to set up folders to give your kiddo social stories or instructions or even quick sentences. So for example, I'm gonna make a new folder. We're just gonna make a social story folder and I'll call it, uh, it's a new folder. I'm not gonna use any templates because I want it only to be the buttons I add. I will call it shower. Let's just say I wanted to give my child a list of all the things they're gonna do in the shower. All right, so here's my folder. There's nothing in it. Now I'm gonna start adding some buttons. So first we're gonna, let's say, uh, get the soap. I'm just gonna put a couple in here to give you an idea. And you can pick a, you know, a picture for soap or whatever you want. And then second, we're going to um, add a button that says like wash body. And then we're gonna have one that says, you know, dry off. It's kind of an unusual one. We probably wanna use a towel or something like that. There's better ones to use. And then let's have one that says like get dressed. This is not a perfect example. I just wanted to show you guys how this works. Now I'm gonna edit the folder. So I'm no longer messing with the buttons. I wanna change the folder itself. And I am gonna change the display style to be a list view. So now I have, it's almost like a social story and you can even put first, get the soap. Get the soap, wash body, dry off, get dressed. It's like a schedule. You can also use that to build a schedule for your child's day. So let's say I wanna make another one that we're gonna create, we're gonna call it, you know, school. I'm also gonna use no template in here and we're gonna call that school day. If your child likes visuals, social stories, schedules, this is a great tool. Double click in there. I'm gonna change the folder. I'm gonna change the display style to list view. And now we're going to have like drive in the car, right? Go to school. Uh, we can have maybe math, um, reading, spelling. And we'll put, you know, go home. That way they know, they can always reflect on it. So let's say that your child is getting a little antsy after math, they can come out here to their schedule and I would hope you would design it a little bit cleaner than what I'm doing. After math, oh, then we have reading, then spelling, then we go home. Again, referring back to a schedule or a social story is gonna help them process what has to happen next and it will help with limiting frustration and you can put that anywhere you want. I was adding them to my home screen just to show you for an example, but you can put it anywhere that you feel is appropriate.